welcome to Ignition. Oh, and a uh, special episode today. We are looking at, uh, we love four wheel drive action. You'll have seen we've reviewed a few of their uh, episodes, yeah, but this lives. this is a separate um, you call show, it with, show within show? Yeah, you'd call it a show within show. More of a series, isn't it? It's uh, lots of episodes um, to do with Sean Owen is. Dirty Thirty. Yeah, so Sean O's the main, uh, I suppose he's the main presenter in the audience. He is, Graham, Graham. Yeah, the main the, men. Main men. And Sean O, slightly mental. Yeah. Um, Graham drives a, a fairly new Isuzu, yeah, doesn't relatively he? Relatively stock as well in, Pick in up. the theory of thing, yeah. And Sean O's got two vehicles. He's got a, a Land Cruiser. He has. And then he's got a Land Cruiser that he's modified and put a pickup. So he's chopped, chopped it, it in half. And put, a, uh, put a pickup on, yes. and then has killed it. Well, you'd say he'd killed it. Yeah, so there's Sean O himself, he's the main man, and this one's all about him, and he's rebuilding his truck. And it it's, is. It's, a very, it's actually a very, very exciting um, project, because he knows his stuff. He does. He knows what he likes. And he's seriously in four-wheel driving. And Toyotas. Uh, yes, I think that is his Land Cruiser sitting behind him there. Yes, it is. I think they're all. Or oh, yeah. they're very. That yeah. is what the language is. Yeah. Got. Yes. So there he is. And that is the original. What he calls his. That he's named it the Dirty Thirty, and that's because it is always filthy. It is. <clears throat> and he's heading into. I mean, some of the swamps they oh, go through. I mean, well, even they, he, even he gags. gags. Yeah. At the stench of those holes. And it comes in. Yeah, it does. It. Yeah, they don't mess about. I, I couldn't do it. I don't think. But he's a, he's a little bit in nuts, and he he goes for it. He, I think you could say he commits to his. Drives. And he does. So that's the dirty thirty. Yeah. Um, on, on its, its side. side. Get a nice view of the under carriage. Uh, yeah, you, know. so you can see what's under there. There's not as much body protection as I would have expected. There's none other than the fuel tank, is there? No, not a lot, is there? No. And then you can see him as it's rolling. Yeah, that that's him. I think in complete shock that he's flipped his truck. That must be quite a. I wonder what thought goes through your head. You well, it depends know. how far you're going to go. When you've well, got a steep enough hill for it to roll, he got dead jammy on that, but it stopped on yes. the side. And they, 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 they it, it, that's the thing about doing serious off wheel off roading. You need your mates. Yes, you do, because they, if he hadn't got had them, they'd have been stuck there. Well, they also, as soon as it rolled, I don't know quite how quick they were, but they, they lashed, lashed that down. Yes, yeah, so yeah. it didn't go down the hill, but that's irrelevant. Watch those. And um, but this one is about him. Deciding to rebuild the Dirty 30, and, and it's hard to explain. He explains it better than us, which is why we're promoting his channel. Mm. And what he basically does, and it is a fascinating story, he chops a Land Cruiser up. He does, yes, and he's, and in the, the build, he sort of puts parts of older Land Cruisers, slightly newer Land Cruisers. Yeah. You, he, you can't really call it a series of Land Cruiser because it's got po components of every single, single one. one. Yeah, it's but very, he, he wanted very to cool. keep. The dirty thirty body, did it? Did, yes. But it was absolutely it, it had um, uh, was stress fractured. Hadn't right. It? Yes, it had. And it. the chassis had stress fractured. Right, yeah. So that's him chopping. So you can see he's in, the, in the corner here. He's marking where he's just going to put a um, angle grinder through it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the start of the rebuild of the dirty thirty with one. Of, and he's got lots of. He's very lucky, he's got lots of very clever mates. Yeah, they're all very knowledgeable, aren't they? Um, so there he's chopped the cab, and <laughs> that's him and his mate proudly. Look, look at the, look at his face, how chuffed he is that he's, he's hacked it. And he's new. so happy he's got half a Land Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a very funny individual. Is, yeah. And this is Rocket, is he Rod or Ron? Rocket Ron. Rocket Ron. Mm. So Rocket Ron is a auto gearbox expert, isn't he? Very it? interesting man. Very interesting. He said that to me. That's a very cool bit of tech. It's a so dark he, art, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So he, I've never seen it before, but he can turn any transmission into an auto, really, can't he? Yeah. It was any engine. He yeah. Any auto. engine he can put an auto box on. So yeah. for that age of Land Cruisers, to have an auto is unheard of. Yeah. And yeah. so what he's done is he's taken an old part of a, a Land Cruiser body. He's taken a different type of chassis. He's taken a different type of engine. So nothing's matched. They're all Toyotas. Yes. But they match them, and he's always driven manuals as he well. He has, he always likes a mate. Yeah. But driving an auto in the extreme that they're doing, the control sorry, does the auto help. gives you the control. It does, yeah, and he's got his beer on there. That it, yeah, he's got the beer yeah, there. Got to enjoy it. So there he is with the engine. So he bought it in a lovely engine. He did. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, he bought a really nice engine, and, and there's the engine expert. So yeah. we've had the engine expert, the gearbox expert, the hacking expert. And the body expert. The body <laughs> expert. So 
And so he's turning it into a pickup so that he can fit one of these um, all-terrain boxes, aren't they? Yeah, they call them. But they're they're serious bits of kit. They're designed to take the forces. But it's a lot of weight to have those two wheels on the back. Like it is, and, and yeah. that's why the, I think the the actual storage area is brought right in, Four, so yes. the wheels are sitting more central for, good idea. for, for weight balance. Because mm. his dirty, the, the original dirty thirty, we saw, and he didn't just roll it once, did he? I no, think no, it was I more think than once. Than I think yeah. might be wrong there, but I think it's more than once he yes. rolled that. But that's a much better weight distribution, I think. And then oh, there it is. There, it, but we've got to we've got to say the actual interest in this is watching the, the build take place because mm. it really is they go to a lot of trouble and well you'd call it a brand new old wheels wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. it is brand new you would i think since there he's changed the wheels hasn't he keep going i'm sure we see do we not oh, i'm not sure but that's the dash from the model up from the one he's got so uh, one of his mates fabricated that here i think we've got another piece on that in one of our other videos we have we? yeah we have um but that was a serious job yeah because that was it's, it's a it's a forgive me if i've got this wrong but i'm pretty sure it's a toyota model 60 dashboard in the vehicle mm. and a 70 dial set. Yes, I think so, or an 80, I can't remember, something. It, it, it's, it's 60 to 70 or 70 to 80. Yes. Um, but why he's changed, so they, they wanted the originality of the older dash, Yes. but what he wanted, and you can see here, um, the next model up actually shows the diff lockers mm -hmm. on the dial cluster, and he, he wanted that. So uh, one of his buddies has actually Taken, taken the dials yes. and fabricate them. I mean, it's very clever. It is because even though the his locking axles are ARB, so they're not factory ones, no. he still managed to wire them to get the yes. lights in. So very good. serious bit of crafting, I think. That and the next one's very entertaining. He wanted the look of the original um, stereo system, and what they've done is literally just chopped the front of the stereo off. And then, as you can see in the inset picture, they've actually mounted one of the. Um, computers behind it so that it's above water level because he literally when he drives it the water is coming in yes it does and although that is waterproof he still mounted it above well, to be where safe. he drowns that's it. for the gearbox isn't it that was yeah i think it's the, the gearbox the also yeah. gearbox i think that was the module and that's so that's sitting behind and wow. um He's done a cracking job. Yeah, they're the new wheels. Yes, they are. They're, they're beautiful bead locks. They're the set that I, I wanted a set like that but you um you and mum talked well you didn't you banned me from yeah. buying those well, things know, for that yeah. You know, during quarantine, got to save some money. Yeah, because we haven't got any. Well, no, you can collect save um, some money. And we've got no subscribers. <laughs> got no views. Please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe, because we've got nothing. No. We want, I want those wheels. Look. I want that car. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so it's got everything that you can think of. And they go through every single bit, don't they? they show, he, he does a walk around at the end. So if you don't want to watch all of them, you can just watch a walk around. The, the, yeah, yeah, because there's a fair the few. Um, there's probably... Five hours? I think so. Yeah, Five hours of the build. But the thing is, if you're in, remotely interested in off-roading and you want to do little bits to your car, you can take a, a bit of this. Yes. But this is him doing it to the extreme it perfection is. level. It is. Yes, and it, and it is, like I said, a new new build, isn't it? So oh, it's fantastic. And awesome. you can even see the bar work around the side mm -hmm. so that when he hits the um, side, he's going up a hill and it, yes. it, it tips slightly into a bank. He's going to protect his very, very nice all paper. Custom, um, fabric, custom fabricated. Because most of his cars, he's wrapped to coated. That one doesn't look wrapped to coated. No, no, it's not. That's an, I, I don't think it is. Top paint job, that. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely. So, yeah, well, those wheels so. are beautiful. They are. And there it is with its... Bit of flex. Oh, yeah, bit of flex. That's just a bit of flex. Yeah, That's a bit a of flex. flex. So it, he's done a proper, proper job. Yeah, we're liking that. Um, and... It's, it's a really good series, and I say, any interest you've got in off-roading at all, or just building cars. Yes, it's fantastic. It, it is. It's a cracker. But that's all we got for today. I think we recommend you go and watch that if you're very much into 4x4ing like we and are. And he normally forgets, but he possibly, if he remembers, because obviously someone of my age doesn't forget anything, he, meh, he might put the link below. But if not, remember, four-wheel drive action, dirty, dirty. Of course I'll put the link down below. Anyway, you know, don't listen to the old man who forgot what he said in five minutes. What did I say? I can't remember. <laughs> nice to speak to you guys. Thanks for watching.